Being aware of your surroundings and paying attention to what you're doing is also good advice for avoiding injury when you have to lift and move a load. Before you pick up any kind of material, container, or equipment, it's important to start with a mental lift. This means that you need to take into account the object's size, weight, and contents, the position it's in, where you're moving it to, and the duration of the lift. First, make sure that the size and weight of the object can be handled by one person. If not, get help. If you can move it by yourself, make sure that you have good footing and that your weight is evenly distributed on both legs. You should stand as close to the object as possible with your feet 12 to 18 inches apart. Next, get a good grip on the object, keeping your back as straight as possible. Then, bending at the knees, lift straight up using the muscles in your arms and legs, not your back. You should also avoid any sudden or jerky movements. Hold and carry the load close to your body at waist level. Keep the weight evenly distributed on your arms and legs. And make sure that the load doesn't block your view. To set the load down, reverse the lifting procedure. Bend your knees, keep your back straight, and remember to let your leg muscles do the work. Set the load down slowly. Don't drop it. A sudden release could cause your back to recoil, resulting in a serious injury. Any object that is too bulky, heavy, or awkward to move by hand should be moved with the assistance of moving equipment. Now, all of the steps you can take to ensure your personal safety won't mean much without one important ingredient, and that's attitude. If personal problems, horseplay, or practical jokes, drugs, or intoxicating beverages disrupt your concentration, serious accidents may occur. But accidents can be prevented by using common sense and being constantly alert to what's going on, you can help keep accidents from happening to yourself and others. Always keep in mind that you're responsible for keeping yourself and others safe at all times.